What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked L battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Chlorophyll Shift Tree team that features some meta Pokemon like Calyrex Groudon, but they're rocking off meta items. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time and it really does go a long way with supporting me as a content creator. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Let's get right after so we can hop into some battles. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Calyrex. Actually, wait a minute. Before I even get into today's team preview, I gotta give a huge shout out to the creator of this team. My boy Joshua, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate you. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, tweet me over on my Twitter page. The link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. You guys can tweet me. You guys can DM me over there. Go follow me. Send me your guys rental codes. I would love to get it. I almost forgot to give the shout out. Almost forgot it. But yo, my boy Joshua, thank you so much. But back to what we were doing with the team preview. Starting off in the top left corner with Calyrex right here with the as one ability. Alongside with the choice spec item. Like I said, we got some meta restricted mods with off meta. With off meta items we got astral barrage expanding force palm puff and then we have trick to actually hand off those choice specs if we do not want them so i really do like this move set cannot wait to rock out rock out with it and do some big damage with calyrex second pokemon on squad is going to be shift tree over here with that chlorophyll ability double its speed in the drought we also got that scope lens to raise its critical hit ratio and then we got fake out for flinches leaf blade for stab foul play for a nice little dark move and it's also stab and then we got protect for our fourth and final move middle left is going to be groudon going to be Paired perfectly with that shift tree to make it double the speed in the drought. And it's going to be really, really strong because it does have that weakness policy that we can actually proc with Blastoids, who is down in that bottom right corner. We have the drought ability, like you guys already know. And then we got Precipice Blades, Rock Slide, Fire Punch, and Protect. I still cannot believe that this thing is not a fire Pokemon. Hopefully, in Gen 9, they change that up. Sableye is going to be our fourth Pokemon, our lovely little support guy with Prankster in the Focus Ash. We got Foul Play, we got Taunt, we got Quash, and then we got Sunny Day to change up that weather. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Landers with that Choice Scarf and that Intimidate ability that works oh so well. We got Fly EQ both for Stab, we got U-Turn to Pivot Out, and then we got Rock Team for our beautiful coverage move. Bottom Pokemon on squad is going to be our Weakness Policy Procker. It's going to be Blastoise over here with Torrent and the Wakan Berry as the item. We got Fake Alpha Flinches, Aqua Jet to get that first turn priority and to proc that Weakness Policy on that Groudon. Then we got Hydro Pump and then we got Yawn to put Opposing Pokemon to sleep. Guys, if you want to write the scene for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 12 Chlorophyll Shift Tree team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We are going up against a Yvelta and Groudon team with Chlorophyll Venusaur, Regilecki, Bronzong for Trick Room countering and the Papa Trick Room, and then he has Incineroar for his final Pokemon. So how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I think Shift Tree could be really, really good. Right? Nice little lead here. Get rolling with that Pokemon. Could bring Calyrex in the back end too. Plus we have Fake Out with Shift Tree, and then we can roll in with Groudon because Groudon's always good. And then I really like Landers in this situation because Landers has a few moves that are super effective up against a few of these Pokemon. So I'm digging this. I'm digging this squad for battle number one, right? It's sounding really good. It is definitely sounding really good. But before the battle even starts, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day, how many Pokemon should be in the Gen 9 Pokedex? I'm not talking about any DLC additions. I'm talking about when the game first releases, how many Pokemon should be in that Pokedex. For this game, it was uh, 400, I believe right off the rip and then they added two dlcs with 100 each and they ended up being like 600 or over 600 but i want to know what you guys think should be a good number for me i think 500 is a great number and then add like another 100 100 come on yeah, we could be get buzzing with that we could definitely get buzzing with that but uh should i just drop a straight astral barrage i could i could fake out and trick i could definitely fake out and trick but i'm thinking just faking out astral barrage and get rid of that reg like you right sounds pretty good i think he probably takes out my calyx at this point and then if he doesn't, that's on him. So I'm just going to fake out an Ash Barrage. That's got to be my play. Right? That's got to be my play. That has got to be my play. That 100% has to be my play. Let's see what he does from there. Let's see what he does. I don't know if he knows if my Shift Tree's Rock and Fake Out. Because Shift Tree's one of those Pokemon that you don't see often. So I feel like, yeah. He's not really expecting a Fake Out there. So Fake Out comes out here. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax. He's probably just going for an Oblivion Wing. But Ash Barrage will take out Regilecki, no problem. We are Choice Spec, too, which is nice. And we're going to get that Grimnade boost. So I think he's just going to go Oblivion Wing, take out my Shift Tree, and go back to full HP. Right? Is that, his, is that his plan? Is that his plan? I'm surprised he didn't Sucker Punch me. He's going for a Foul Play. So who are you going after? He goes after Calyx. And he just takes out Calyx. Okay, I'm kind of cool with that because I'm going to bring in what's called at this point. I'm going to bring in Groudon at this point and just Dynamax. Right? Sounds like a beautiful play. Sounds like a beautiful play. We get that Chlorophyll rolling and we get rocking out from there. 
I'm surprised you didn't have Sucker Punch. I'm surprised you didn't have Sucker Punch, and I didn't even, like, think about it. I didn't even think about it. So, luckily, that, that turn worked out good. Because if he had Sucker Punch, I wouldn't even be able to get off the turn because I don't have a Focus Sash. He would just rip into me. Like, Sucker Punch is Calyrex's worst nightmare. But that's why I love having Focus Sash on uh, Calyrex. Because it's able to just absolutely eat. But he's going to end up going into you. And, uh, okay. That's kind of scary. I'm not going to sit here and lie. That is kind of scary. And that makes me not want to Dynamax Groudon. Because he's gonna, just going to put me to sleep. So I kind of want to Dynamax and maybe just slow you down. Right? Or do I go for Darkness and get that special defense drop? I mean, we're both physical attackers, so it's like, eh. I think I'd rather slow them down, even though it's base 90. I think a speed drop could work well. But I think I have to Dynamax. Oh, dude, this is so tough because he has two Pokemon that can absolutely rip into me. I'm going to go for Max Strike here. Slow them both down, and I'm just going to protect you. Right? The Sleep Powder's coming in hot. I mean, protecting you don't... Actually, it does a little bit. Let's protect him. I was going to say, protecting me don't really do much. Let's see how this one plays out here. I'm Dynamaxing. Let's do it. Let's roll after. But this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be so tough. Because if he Dynamaxes Venusaur, that's big damage with G-Max Fire Lash. And then if he Dynamaxes Yabelta, he can Airstream my... My shift tree, do some big damage on him. Probably maybe even take him out. And then get a speed boost on top of that to neglect my max strike. It's just options. Is he going to Dynamax? He is. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. So I think he's going to try to put my ground out of sleep. I think that's his play all day. I think I'm going to Dynamax him. Yes. Cool. Dope. So he's going to try to put me to sleep. We're going to be able to drop a max strike. We're going to slow down, everybody. We're going to slow him down. We're going to say, Ayo, let's slow you down a little bit. And not do that much damage, but still. It's solid damage. It's solid chippy damage. There's a nice, beautiful slowdown. I wonder if a Darkness can take him out. I wonder. He's going to go for Oblivion Ring. He's going to go back up to full HP. And whew, whew, do some mean damage. To him. That's the definition of mean damage right there. That is definition of mean damage. Now, I wonder if this Max Darkness can take him out. Because it is Stab. It's plus 40 base power. It's going to be cutting it close. That could be a big time KO. So I'm going to roll into that. And then I'm going to do a Fire Punch. Or dude, this thing might be weakness policy. The way that it's like bad on here, it could be weakness policy. I don't know if I want to proc the policy. Do I want to proc the policy? Hmm. I don't want to proc policy. I really don't want to proc policy. Because I think he's going to Dynamax here. He does not Dynamax. Can Darkness take out? Darkness, please take out. Take him out, Darkness. Let's go. That's a big time KO. That's a big time KO because that allows Venusaur not to get off a turn. Uh, Groudon does outspeed Yvelta at this point because it is minus one. That allows my Groudon to get off a turn. Even though I think, even though I think he's going to just take out my, uh, my what's called get his, uh, get his HP back. Yeah. It's tough. That's tough. Because now he still has Dynamax. Wow. Yvelta doing some work. Yvelta doing some work. So we do pick up the KO, but, eh. That's tough news. That's tough news. This is minus one on speed, so I wonder who he's going to bring out for his final mod. Gonna be ground on of his own. Could definitely be ground on of his own. But I'm gonna bring out Landorus. We have that choice, that lovely little choice spec or choice scarf. And I could just start double down on rock moves. Because Yvelta's our, our threat, I feel like. And yeah, he's gonna go ground on. He's gonna go ground on. So Lando's coming out here. I think we just start ripping into the Yvelta. Who's gonna Dynamax? It could be ground on. This is terrifying. But Intimidate's gonna be huge. Especially on the ground on. I like that. So I'm just gonna. I could fly and dip out here. Then I would have to choice into it. That's my only problem. I would have to choice into that. Do I choice into a fly? I think we choice into a fly and we, and we just start rock sliding. That's tough. That's tough. We're going to hope we get dodge the Dynamax move. He has Dynamax ready to roll, and I, I don't like where we're sitting, guys. I do not like where we're sitting for battle number one. I do not like where we're sitting because it's belt that really just rips into me. Like, I wanted to Dynamax ground on so bad. But I didn't have an option because he would just put me to sleep and kind of rolled out from, from there. And this is exactly why I want the Dynamax Ground. I was, just, I was just like, yo, we get Dynamax Ground on, get rid of the Shivelta and pretty much be thriving in this battle. But if I didn't Dynamax Ground on, he gets put to sleep. So I ended up Dynamaxing Shift Tree and rolling out with that slot, which it worked well for a little bit. Like, we got rid of the Venusaur, but now we're sitting in a tough spot where, we're, where it's right here, you know? Where we are sitting right here. So I don't think he's going to go after. I think he's going to go after my landers, right? Like a Dark Aurora. So maybe we can dip out the shot. That could be a solid solid turn. And maybe my Groudon can go first. He's going to end up protecting my, his, his own Groudon. He protects his Groudon. We're going to dip out of here with Fly. We're hoping. We're hoping that he's going after me. That could be a nice little dodge. Go after me. 
Rockside comes out here, gets blocked. Do some damage on the Evelta. He's gotta be weak to this policy, right? It's scaring me. It is scaring me. Is he policy? He's not. Airstream comes through and we dodge. We're on the dodge move. We are on the dodge move. Uh, I'm gonna go for another rock slide. Or should I go for a fire punch? And we're gonna go for rock slide. Rock sizzle. Maybe try to get a flinch on the deck route on. Even though it's gonna be not very effective. Start slowly chipping up damage. Slowly chipping up damage. Let's get after. He's gonna guard. He's gonna max guard. Okay, you can waste a turn. Flash well, can come out here. Can we get this flinch? If we can get this flinch, that could be gorgeous. We're choosing to a fly now. Oh, he goes first. He goes first and he connects his stone edge. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I eat that. Beautiful. Rockside coming in hot. It gets blocked. I can fly and dodge again. And I can just protect my Groudon. I can just protect my Groudon. I could just protect my Groudon. Hmm. Yeah. Let's protect it. Because he's probably like, oh, he's going for another fly. I'm protecting. I am protecting. We're going to waste out his Dynamax turns. But my only problem here is... Uh, he could go into another protect next turn, right? Right, that means he's rocking protect. If he has max guard, that means he has protect in his moveset. Most of the time, I don't rock protect on my Yabeltas. I do a sucker punch, the blue beaming, foul play, and whatever the last move normally is. I totally forget what it is. Snarl. Snarl. That's what I usually rock. But I guess he has a protect move on this. Which is kind of tough because we're ripping into flies. We're ripping with flies. Because he can protect next turn knowing that I'm going for a fly in the Yabelta. He's gonna bulk up, and that's the game, yo. That's the game. This thing's ripping with bulk up. That that just won the game right there. That just won the game. Airstream's gonna fly here. This is why I protect my ground. He's gonna take a little bit of speed back, but he bulked up, which is terrifying. Which is honestly terrifying. He bulked up. We might have to try to get a burn off on him, but his his Yavelta could legit just uh oblivion wing out, right? His Yavelta can just oblivion wing out. He's back to normal on attack, but his defense is boosted. It's kind of ugly. But yeah, from here, I'm just going to go for a rock slide. Pull off from there. See what we can get wrong with that. But hopefully he's not protecting that Yvelta. I would love to get off a fly and a rock slide. I would adore it. But now my Groudon is slowest on the field. Man, dude, battle number one not look good for us. Not a bad battle, though. We did waste out his Dynamax turns really, really well. But this Yvelta, we left him way too long. We know this Pokemon is ridiculously strong. He ends up protecting the Yvelta. That was my, that was my issue with the fly. It's, we're in like a weird turn stage. Where he can just like protect it. So I'm just gonna poke here and he's gonna miss it. That's big. Rockside's gonna come out here. And do I fly again into Yavelta or do I go on the ground? Or do I go on the ground on here? I'm choosing to fly. I kinda wanna go into Yavelta again, but not really. But not really. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna say he's a softy. I'm gonna say he's a softy. He's not gonna protect the next one. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. We're dipping again. We're out of here. Let's see what he's doing. Maybe he thinks I'm not flying this time. But I'm dipping again. I'm out of here. I'm choosing to it. I have to. I have to do this. What a first battle, yo. Coming down to the wire. Got us both thinking. But he definitely has the upper hand on me. 100% has the upper hand on me. He has a bulked up uh, route on. Here's your Velta who rips. Let's see what he does here. He's going to bulk up again. Leave me alone, dude. Just leave me alone. I'm going to need crits to actually take this thing out, you know? This is obnoxious. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into Oblivion Wing. He's going to recover some HP here. How much HP are you really going to recover? That's too much for us to handle. That's too much for us to handle. He's going to go back up close to full, right? Too full, I should say. Rockside's going to poke out here. How much damage? Can we get some crits over here? We're doing, like, no damage, yo. Oblivion Wing rips too hard. It rips way too hard. If he protects his shot, it is over with. I'm going to have to go for here. And we're going to hope he doesn't protect his shot. If he protects it, it's 100% over. He protects his shot, it is 100% over. And I will run this battle. That's a promise. That's a promise for you guys. But not a bad first battle. I just need to get rid of that Yavelta. I should have saved my Dynamax for like Lando or something. Because Lando could have ripped into that Pokemon. Lando's not a bad Dynamax Pokemon. But I should have just used it on the ground. But like I said, I had my thought process behind the Dynamax to the ground. Make a move, my guy. He does not protect. He does not protect. They're saying there's a chance. They're saying there's a chance here. Stone Edge coming in hot. Eat this up. Eat this up, Lando. No crits. We eat. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oblivion Wing coming in hot. Who you going after? Who you going after? It's a real question. You're going to hit up on my ground. On my ground and eats. Can you take out with this rock side? I don't think you can. That's too much HP. I don't think you can. Rock side coming in hot. 
Oh my god, dude, that oblivion wing doing me so dirty. That oblivion wing doing me so dirty. Now I can fly again and dip, but Groudon goes out here and it's we're not gonna kill anything. So I'm just gonna run this battle. That's gonna be GG's. Not a bad first battle. We're gonna start up 0 1. Let's hop into our second and grab ourselves our first victory. Hopping into our second battle. That first battle was rather close, but we let the Yvelta stay in just a bit too long. Just a bit too long. Ended up taking our team out and winning the battle. But let's grab ourselves our first win in the second battle. We're going up against a pretty cool team. Necrozma and Eternatus. Love the two restricted mods. He has a bunch of off-meta Pokemon with the Milotic, the Mudsdale, who I love. I love me some Mudsdale. And then he also has the, uh, what is that, Regilecki and Hitmon Top. So how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Calyrex can really just steamroll a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm going to end up leading Calyrex and just buzz him from there. So Calyrex, you're going to come on down as lead. I really want to go in the Shift Tree, but I'm kind of scared of that Hitmon Top. But Shift Tree does outspeed it, so I do like it. I do like it. We're going to bring Groudon. And then last but not least, I think I got to roll Landris, right? Landers is just looking good. So same squad, same squad, same lead. We're giving them another chance here. We are giving them another chance in battle number two. Let's get rolling with this one. Let's dominate this battle and grab ourselves our first win for today's video because I, I, I can't go into the third and final battle 0 and 2. You guys know the two rules on the channel. We don't get swept and we do not go 0 and 3 in a video. So I do not want to start off 0 and 2 and have the chance of going 0 and 3. You guys know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. But he's going to end up leading the Milotic and the Krozma and I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Shift Tree's gonna roll out here. Shift Tree's rather decent on speed. And you know, I'm just gonna pop the Astro Barrage. The thing does have Prism Armor, which is rather strong. And then I'm just gonna roll into a Leaf Blade. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me, right? So let's see this. Or I, oh, yo, I could trick him. I'm gonna take his item first and foremost. I'm just gonna Leaf Blade straight, in, straight into the slot. I'm gonna trick him right off the rip. I'm gonna say, hey, yo, give me that item. Even though, yo, Shiny Necrozma looks gorgeous. It's like a rose gold. Like a rose gold. Maybe I should have stayed in. Uh, or maybe I should have just popped the Astro Barrage with a choice spec. Probably would have been a better play. But I'll take his item. We'll have some fun with this one. I feel like we can win this battle. He's going to end up withdrawing the Milo. Milo. And he's going to go into him on top. He's going to come in. The top is going to come in here. He is going to intimidate me. Which is, which is a little rough. But still. That's fine. That's fine. Because intimidate is going to affect my shift tree. And I might just have to hard swap him. He's not going to die. He's just going to protect the crows. Alright. Now I'm dropping Astro Barrage. I'm not playing around next turn. I'll keep my choice scarf or my choice spec. I'll keep it all day. I'll keep it all day. Leaf Blade's gonna fly here. Yeah, he chip up some beautiful damage. Is that a crit? Oh my god, yo. Scope and shift tree. Doing some big old damage. Is that eject button? Is he gone? No, he's leftovers. Ooh. The leftovers hit him on top, but too bad hit him on top. You are dead. I hate to break it to you. Oh, I have to use trick. I'm choosing the trick now. Okay, cool. That's fine. And you know what? I can just foul play into you. Actually, I really just want to protect. I know he's going to fake me out, but I still want to go for the foul pipe. That's fine if he fakes me out. It is what it is. There it is. Fake out. Mwah. Should have just protected. Play a smart play. Fiction, come out here. Let's say, hey, yo, let me get that item. Have some cups. And what do we get? We get a weakness policy. Cool. We get his weakness policy. He's going to go for a sunshield strike. My Pokemon should be able to eat up a sunshield strike all day. He has choice spec. That's fine. He's a physical attacker. Alex is able to eat, and now we can just roll into Astro Barrage just for free. For free. And I think Astro Barrage should be able to take out the him on top. So then at this point, I could just foul play across in this slot. Finish that off. That's looking real good for us, right? That's looking real good for us. Ooh, wide guard. Ooh, nice little play. I'll give it to him. A little bit of wide guard action coming in hot. Nice little play, him on top. Beautiful little play, him on top. I'm on top of that play. Foul play's gonna roll out here. How much damage are we gonna do with him? Some good damage. Shift tree rolling strong. He rolling strong. Sun shield strikes in the poke out here. And is that gonna take on my college? I think it does. And if it does, I'm just gonna roll on the ground on. And just get after the battle. Wait, just say GG's from there? Yeah. That's, that's uh, That should be GG's. That shall be GG's, I think. Because I think I just bring out my ground on. Dynamax my ground on. Foul play with shift tree. Just kind of buzz out the battle from there. I think I hit my top with a max, uh, max quakeage. Right, yeah, 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 GG's, GG's, it's looking good, it's looking real good, it's looking real good, because then if he brings out Eternatus, we're going to be super effective, we're going to be overall strong, he definitely has Eternatus, yeah, yo, Gene's, Gene's looking real good in this battle, so, I could Blades, but I'm going to Dynamax, and I am going to Dynamax, I'm going to say bye-bye to you, I'm just going to keep the foul plays rolling, yo, foul play does work up against Sogelio and Necrozma, I love it, and I think that was a Prism Armor shot too, right, yeah, he's full HP, Prism Armor, I forget how it works, 
What does it neglect like 25% of the first shot? Something like that. Something like that. But yeah, let's see what he does. With that rose gold in the Krozma. It looks so sick. It looks so sick. I, I think that's one of the cooler shinies. Rose gold in the Krozma. You never see like a rose gold shiny. It just looks too cool. It does look too cool. So we're going to end up Dynamaxing our lovely Gen 3 Legendary. I think Gen 3 has one of the coolest box art Legendaries. Right on Rayquaza and Kyogre. They're amazing. They are absolutely amazing. So we're going to end up Dynamaxing him. And he's going to go for another wide guard. Thinking I'm going for a Blades, but nah, son. We're not going for Blades. I was actually thinking about it, but it's not happening. So that was just dumb play. Say, see you later, Necrozma. Shift tree coming in hot. Bang, bang. See you later. And then we are going to just dump on this uh, him on top with this Max Quake. So see you later, him on top. So solid, solid turn there. We get rid of two of his Pokemon here. He got rid of my Calyrex. And then he still has... Uh, who else does he have in the back? Who do you hard swap turn one and hit him on top? Milotic. So he has Milotic. I'm not worried about that Milotic. Leaf Blade coming in hot with my with my Shift Tree. We have the Scope Lens too, so I'm going to bank on a crit. And then if it's Eternatus, we're just straight up Max Quaking. And if it is Eternatus, he cannot Dynamax that Pokemon. It is Eternatus. So he's going to be forced to Dynamax Milo and Milo. And uh, we are plus one on Special Defense, which is huge. So I'm just going to just start sending Leaf Blades that way. And Max Quake onto the other slot. Sounds like a pretty... Pretty easy win for us, right? Leaf Blade coming in hot. And we are double speed. Thank you, Chlorophyll. Yo, dude, I'm loving Shift Tree. One of my favorite Pokemon. I love them in Gen 3. But I didn't really use him too much in Gen 3. Because Sceptile was an option. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. So I roll out with Sceptile. That's what's so tough. Sceptile is one of my favorite starters. But Gen 3 has, like, three of my favorite grass types. Sceptile, Breloom, and Shift Tree. Like, dude. I, I, it was so always so hard for me to choose. It was always so hard for me to choose. I would always switch it up because I'd be thinking like 6,700,553,955,000 <laughs> times. <laughs> we pick up a big crit. That's what I love about that Leaf Blade. He's going to Sludge Bomb. That might be, that's probably taking me out, right? Yeah, Shift Tree. Yeah, see you later. That's totally fine. I'm with this all day because I still have Lando. He's probably going to Geyser, but I'm cool with this. The Rich going to be able to Soak. Ground's going to be able to take out Eternatus, no problem. Now we're plus two on Special Defense. And my Shift Tree already did a, a huge amount of damage on the Milo. Half the half the Dynamax Milotic, that's a lot of damage. Without a Dynamax move, that's a lot of damage because Milotic's super, super bulky. Super, super bulky. And now we do this. He's going to end up geysering. That's totally fine. Uh, that's easy. So, and he proc my policy and I outspeed. So, see you later. See you later, yo. Look at that eat. Look at that eat. Look at that eat. It's the definition of a snack there. Plus two on the special defense, plus the drought neglected a lot, a lot of that water damage. We get the weakness policy proc. Stands no chance. Next move, I'm just going underground again with Quake and just slamming him out. And just slamming him out. Plus, we get to bring out Lando, too. Which outspeeds, but Lando, I'm just going to fly with him, right? Do a little dip dodge, dangling dodge. <laughs> just dodge some moves. But I think our opponent's going to cancel the battle at this point. He's competitive boosted now. But he stands no chance up against my Quake. My weakness policy Quake. You stand no chance, kind sir. And I'm going to fly, and you're going to go after my uh, Landers anyway. I wonder if he stays. He does stay. Watch me dodge him. I mean, I don't even think we're going to dodge him. I don't even think we're going to get the chance to see if we dodge him. Because his Max Quake is just going to take him out, right? We're going to go Burrow Underground here. Yeah, send it. And see you, Milo. See you later, Milo. Battle number two goes to your boy, Jeans. We're sitting at one and one. Let's hop into our third and grab ourselves that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. We're going up against a really tough team right here. He's rocking Zassian, Calyrex, Whimsicott for Tailwind, which is definitely scary. And then he has the Incineroar for Intimidates, Fake Out, Defiant, Thunderous, and Reg Like. He's a very tough, heavy meta team. How should I play this one? I could go Blast, Lose the Ground on Proc Weakness Policy and roll off from there. It's not looking too bad, but Intimidate is definitely, it's definitely annoying, you know? It's definitely annoying, but I still kind of want to roll out on that and see if we can get something buzzing. Kind of do, but then dude, he just has so many different options. Calyrex does look nice for us. I do like Calyrex. Maybe as a lead. But if he tailwinds and goes into Calyrex of his own, we have no Sash. We have no Sash. You know what? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We used that squad the first time. You know, we're going to go grab on. We're going to go Blast Lays. We're going to try to roll out with weakness policy. Bring Shift Chain to back in. He has no weather. And then Calyrex. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. We already grabbed ourselves a nice little win for today's video, so... I don't mind if we lose. I don't mind if we lose. I just don't want to use Death Team Squad three battles in a row for you guys. But yo, whoa, we jamming. We jamming. If any of you guys watch Stranger Things, this this guitar right here is reminding me of Eddie. 
It's not spoiling anything. Eddie in Stranger Things he shreds a guitar in one scene in the final episode. Jesus. Absolutely rips into it. It's lovely. It's lovely. But we're gonna go into these two. And I'm kinda with just straight up dying and maxing my ground on here, right? Rock and policy, getting rid of uh Getting rid of Zassian. That sound good. I could straight up yawn. I could yawn. I could yawn. Predict to protect. Yeah, I got Dynamax Quake. I really want to yawn. I could fake out too. I'm going to proc policy. I'm going to proc policy here. I do not mind this turn too much. I do not mind it. So let's Dynamax here. If he protects, I'm going to be a little upset because I was thinking about yawning into uh, the Thunder slot and just rolling from there. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what this guy wants to do. We shall see. I mean, he can go into a wild charge. I do have Wakan Berry, which is pretty good. Could help us seat up for another turn and kind of just roll out the battle that way. So let's see. Is he going to protect? I knew it. Yo, I knew it. I should have yawned right into this boy. I should have yawned right in that boy. Aqua Jet's going to proc policy. Yo, 12 damage. That might be the best weakness policy move ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. We're still gonna be able to chip up some nice damage on this uh, ground here. Well, not the ground on onto this Ashen. He's gonna end up going into Wild Charge here, and we soak with the Wakan Berry, which is just huge. The Wakan Berry affords us another turn, and he gets crit. He's gonna take some recoil damage, which is nice. Just a little bit, not too much. I thought it was gonna do more than that. But Quake's gonna fly here. The Root Protect should be able to do still a decent amount of damage. I'll take him out, but still a decent amount of damage. Okay, I love it. I love it. So I could guard the shot. And go for a yawn, but I don't really think that's in play because he takes us out. Um, what do I want to do here? I just want to drop a rock here. Because Blastoise obviously goes down here. I Man, I could go for the Aqua Jet. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Well, drop, actually, I don't want to drop the rock. I'd rather flare. The reason I say that is because I don't want to change up weather. Cause I can bring out shift tree after this and just uh and just go from there, right? I don't even know what I do. I guess I aqua jet. And I try to chip up some damage on this Asian. But I really need him to take out my blast with here. Ooh, he's gonna end up Dynamax and Thundo. Okay. Okay. So he ends up he ends up Dynamax and Thunder, and I kinda wonder what he's doing here. Probably airstream. Airstream for the KO. I kind of want him to straight up go for a lightning just so he doesn't get that airstream. But he's definitely behemoth blading into me, right? I just need him to take out my blast weeds. I really need him to take out my blast weeds. We're going to Aqua Jet. going to do like three and a half damage. And he's going to go for the blade. So there's the blade here. Should only do about half damage, right? How much damage is this really going to do? Oh my. A lot more than I thought. He's going to go for lightning. So that's going to take out blast weeds. I'm with that turn all day. Because that doesn't boost her speed. I can bring out my chlorophyll guy. And I can outspeed Zashin with that. Which is just enormous. Which is just enormous. And then this flare should be able to chip up a good amount of damage. Weakness policy proc. It's not stab, but it is. we are in the drought. So we get that boost. I'm digging that. That's a solid turn for us. So we're going to do that. Take him out. Oh, let's go, ground on. Let's go. That's a huge, huge turn. It's a huge, huge turn. Now I can just bring out my... Uh, I'm going to save my Calyx for the back end. I'll definitely save my Calyx for the back end. Um, I'm trying to remember what Pokemon he does have. But Shift Tree just seems like the play, right? He could go into Incineroar. And in that case, I kind of want to go in. In that case, I want to go into you. But my problem here is... I mean, I could just protect at this point. I'm just going to go into Shift Tree. I think he does go into Incineroar, but... Let's see. Could be Calyx, okay. Okay. I'm with that. Um, my problem here is, like, who does he protect? This is a problem. It's definitely a problem for us. So how many turns left in the sun? Two? We have two turns left in the sun? We have three. Wow, we have three turns left in the sun. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to protect the protect coming out from him. I really do think Zassy might protect here. I'm actually going to a foul play. We have fake out ready to roll. I think he might protect. No, he doesn't, but we're still going to be able to hit the hit up with the spout player. Chip up some damage. Bring him down low like that. And what's he going to do from here? He's going to Ash Barrage. And let's go. Both my Pokemon eat. Leave my Shift Tree. Leave my Shift Tree alive. 
It's gonna behemoth blade. This one's gonna come so close this battle. I need my shift tree here. Cool, we keep our shift tree. That's enormous. That's enormous that we keep the shift tree. And the sheer fact is, the reason I say that is because shift tree is the only Pokemon that can outspeed the Calyrex. And I know my Calyrex isn't gonna be able to outspeed him because we're not fully invested in speed. So I need something to outspeed it. So that's a huge turn. And now we got, kind of just gotta hope that the Calyrex can outspeed Zacian, which I think it can. I think it can, but it's really gonna come down to the wire here. It's really coming down to the wire. So I'll take that turn all day. I'll take that turn all day. We will drop. Is this last two or does he have one more Pokemon? He does have one more. So Astro Barrage obviously got a poke from us. And do I foul play or do I just leap Blade? Did he swap out his Pokemon? Let's see. He could go into Incineroar. So I think foul play is just going to be a play, right? So we'll Astro Barrage onto the slot. We're going to choice spec into that. Dude, this is going to come down to close. He come down real close if he has Incineroar in the back end, which I, I would think he does, but he brought out Calyrex, which leads me to think he does. This battle's way too close. This battle's way too close. He's going to end up withdrawing Zacian. It's going to be Incineroar, isn't it? It's going to be Incineroar, right? I knew it. This little booger. This little booger. Intimidate coming in hot. Intimidate coming in hot. But we get rid of the Calyrex, which is just a huge plus side for us. And we have one more turn left in Sunlight, which I do with Door, which I do with Door. Calyrex is going to come out here. Astro Barrage is going to fly. Bum, bum, da, bum. Do, 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 do. Chipping up some nice damage. Okay, that did actually did a lot more damage than I, than I thought it would. So that's a good sign for us. So we can obviously pick out my shift tree, but I think Calyrex, Calyrex should be fine here. Do I just protect shift tree? Probably just going to fake me out. Or do I just allow the fake out to come in hot? I think I just allow the fake out to come in hot. Like, what's it really gonna harm? It's really gonna harm nothing. So I'm just gonna allow it to come in hot. And. I guess we'll just double down into this assassin. Because uh, I don't really mind if he fakes me out. Maybe he fakes me out. That's fine. Like I said, it does really no harm. My Calyx does outspeed, which is gorgeous. We get rid of him. And that's pretty much GG's, right? That's GG's. We get that Grimnade boost. Astro Blast can take it out. We take battle number three and grab ourselves a winning record. Let's go. Let's go. That battle was definitely really close. Glad we had a phenomenal third and final battle that we ended up being on top of, which is awesome. So Sunlight's gone. Shift Tree came in clutch, dude. He came in clutch with this with that Calyrex. We didn't have Shift Tree. That was an L. It's a big fat L, but great choice for us to actually go into that uh that Blastoids and roll out with him. Are they going to a Leaf Blade? We'll do more damage. Leaf Blade does have a chance of critting, so I kind of want to go into that. But Calyx is just going to go first, and I think he cancels the battle regardless, right? Yep, battle is canceled. 2-1, winning record for you guys. My dude, Joshua, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter page. Really do appreciate it. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, tweet at me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans, YouTube, over on Twitter. DM me or just tweet at me. I like to check out all the teams. I like to look at them all, and I like to use a lot of them on my channel. So if you guys do have rental codes, please, please, please send it to me. But, yo, this team absolutely thrived out here. We got Shift Tree, got to show them off to his fullest potential, buzzed out, and grabbed ourselves a winning record. And got to showcase every single Pokemon except for Sableye. But, you know, Sableye, Sableye, and uh, you guys have definitely seen them before in the past. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.